Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome Wagwan. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I style my coarse kinky blowout clippings with my natural hair to give me a versatile look. So first things first, I'm just sectioning my hair, parting where I will need my clippings to go. So one section of my hair that will be stationary is the back. So I'm gonna just braid that down. It doesn't have to be neat braids, but you just wanna put your hair away and tucked in because at the end of the day, you're trying to do somewhat of a protective style. So today's hair is from curlsqueen.com and I wanna show you guys what the hair is looking like straight out of the package. So I am using one bundle of hair and do you see the fullness and thickness of this unit so it is 24 inches and this is all clippings there's about 10 pieces in here and you have a couple long pieces and short pieces just to fit around different perimeters of your head to um give that full look and honestly i didn't even use the full bundle because as you guys can see the hair is full it is super full and the kinky texture is just looking super healthy and thick all the way through so i do a light um flat ironing type of situation before i actually um clip it in just like a pre-round because i'm gonna flat iron it once more just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth before actually putting it in so i put about four pieces in the back here and i'm just going to demonstrate how i put in each piece of hair in the back Now for the back section, you just wanna spread that out and then later on you can go back in and fill in places that you feel like needs to be filled in because many a times I've made the mistake of thinking it's too um, spread out and then I end up with too much hair in the back and it looks extra poofy. So I try to stick with like three pieces or four and then wherever I feel the need needs a little bit of fullness here and there, I'll go back in afterwards. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair once more just to get that smooth and flat look. At the end of the day, I want this to match my hair texture so I don't need it to be silky straight, just more so of a blown out type of look if my natural hair was this this long so I'm just gonna put in a little piece in the back right there because I felt like the middle just needed a little something something extra so this is what the back is looking like this is gonna be stationary throughout all three styles so I needed that back section to just stay as is now I'm gonna go in with some heat protectant as you guys can see my hair is already blown out um, as straight as I could get it without like over um, straightening my hair like i'm not going for a silk press with this and also you you're seeing that i'm flat ironing my hair but i'm not doing the chase mess method per se and i'm just trying to run through my hair maybe twice and not anything more than that because again we're not trying to do silky we're trying to do a natural hair blowout type of look so um i'm just going to continue doing that for the full front and this is because we're going to do two different styles with the front parting. Now for the very edge of my hair lining, I'm just gonna use this little flat mini um, flat iron just to touch up the front instead of like a hot comb because with the hot comb, girl, I be jumping. Okay, but it's easier to navigate and use when I'm using that little flat iron. Now I'm gonna do a center part for my first style with the clip in. And so I make sure that the front is even, make sure that I do the center part first. And then I do about four pieces of clip in in the front. So I do two on each side to get that fullness without overdoing the fullness. Cause I want to fit the hair behind my ear. And also if I wanted to do like a ponytail, I could do that as well. So because the hair is so full, you don't need a lot in the front. Like I just needed two on each side and that was it.
So this is our first look and it is giving fullness. It is giving extension wear. This is my hair pool. Like who gonna tell me in these streets that this isn't my hair? Like the blending was so effortless. Like look at that. I didn't have to do too many pass throughs with my hair. Like it just did what needed to be done. Now for the second look, we're going to attempt a side part. So first I just remove the two clippings from what's whichever side I feel like doing the side part on. And this is so good for like an everyday type of look because you get to switch up the style and then the back stays tucked in so all you're moving around is the front section which is why we had to do the back and cornrows like put away that hair and then we're just working with the front so I end up putting one piece on this side and then another piece on the other so we're still staying are sticking with four pieces of clip-ins in the front that doesn't change we just move the clip-ins around so again you can move that wherever you choose to and I just love natural hair clip-ins because they're just so easy to use it's less tension on your head it's less manipulation it, you don't have to do too much and anybody can do it it looks like a fresh sew-in or like I said it looks like your natural hair and I'm just loving the versatility of these clip-ins so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of serum little oil serum to put on my parting my hair is looking a little bit dry so I had to put that on there without putting on like a heavy oil because I don't want it to weigh down my hair especially since we're using a flat iron you don't want to put any type of oil because you're not trying to cook your hair you feel me so stick with the serums as opposed to the oils they're lighter and they're better to use on your hair but the side part i'm feeling the side part more than anything i love me a good side part and sweetie she is giving black girl looks with this look it is everything it's like um healthy hair it's my hair who gonna tell me it's not my hair poo like what it is absolutely giving like i i was absolutely feeling the side part now for this next look i saw this style on pinterest and i'm like girl we're gonna have to stop we will have to try it we have to style it we have to try it so this is a crisscross look that i was going for it didn't exactly turn out how i imagined like i've done crisscross on my coily natural hair where i don't have to worry about um the what would i call this so because my hair is straightened i didn't want to put product on the parting space because we're trying to be versatile with this look right so if i was to put any type of hair jam or um edge control i can't wear the hair in a side part or a center part because it will be full of products so i tried to do this style without the products and it turned out still cute, but it didn't look exactly like how I wanted it to look like with the Pinterest picture. But we made it work because you, you you already know how I am. I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make something shake with any type of hairstyle. But it's still cute and it's still given like the crisscross look is everything so initially i wanted the hair down but because my hair is so much shorter than the the um clip-ins it was too obvious like we, we couldn't go in the streets with our hair looking two different layers like it, it can't happen so i'm like you know what girl we're gonna do a ponytail we're gonna make it be a crisscross ponytail type of situation and make it look cute and that's what we did so i took a piece of hair from the ponytail and just wrap it around the base of the ponytail just to hold the ponytail to hide the ponytail holder and you can just use a bobby pin to pin that in i didn't want to use the got to be freezing spray because i didn't want it to like spray on my hair and the hair because when i want to wear it down again i don't need all of that on there so we're trying to use as minimal product as possible so i only put product on my edges and that is basically it like i'm still in love with this style it is giving simplicity it's cute it's like an everyday type of wear let me know what you guys think about these styles which one was your favorite all the details for this clip-in unit from curls queen will be in the description box down below and thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all in my next video go on big up in yourself bye guys